Welcome back guys, I am Muni from smarttutorials.net This is a series of tutorials on how to integrate jQuery autocomplete with the Laravel cake PHP and coordinator Please check the video description for the demo or download link In this tutorial we are going to integrate the jQuery autocomplete with the cake pitch framework This is what we are gonna build in this tutorial We will install cake PHP via composer uh, and create three pages home page will have link to the other two pages so in simple jquery autocomplete we will search the employee id uh, and autofill the employee details in multi text field autocomplete if you and if you search the country and select it will autofill the country details so i'm using this autocomplete database uh, so I will attach the dump of the database to the source code. You, you guys may create the database and play around with uh, with it. So next, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna create the cake pitch project using Composer. So before continuing it, uh, you must have Compose installed in your in your system. So I will provide uh, leave this two link uh, Compose installation on Windows and. Uh, Linux Mac OS in the video description. Please install Composer before you uh, create the uh, cake pitch project. Okay. Once you install Composer, you need to add the Composer path to your uh, environmental file. If it is in Windows, if it is Mac and Linux, you need to add to your bash shash file so that uh, you can access the Composer in different directory via command line. So now once that done so if you go on command line and type the composer uh, it will list the following option that means you uh, install composer successfully uh, next i'm going to install cake php using composer so type composer uh, create project add the prepared dist flag so it will download the distribution version of cake php also you can uh, install uh, you know under development version of cake php maybe that task that will have the bug so always install distribution version of cake php so provide the package name finally give the project name cake auto enter it will install uh, the cake PHP. it may takes couple of minutes So once it is installed, now go and uh, open the, uh, the install cake PHP in the browser. Yeah. In order to cake pitch work in your local environment, you need to satisfy following this criteria. So cake pitch will requires at least minimum of 5.6. Also, it requires the three extension MB, MB string, OpenSSL, INTL. If you are not enabled, it will show in red color so please open your php and ina and enable these three extensions also provide the right access to this temp and log directory if you are not provided please go and provide uh, uh, finally provide the configuration to connect the database from your cake php applications okay for that open uh, the project in your uh, favorite data i have opened it and visual studio code First, open uh, first rename the dot env default to dot env file. So I am saving it as dot env file. So uh, first rename the security salt for that. Copy the security salt that is generated when when you install KPH applications and replace here. Create uh, variable and keep the database configurations I created DB host, DB name and username password everything so now whatever we defined here I'm uh, trying to access in in our cake PHP applications for that first open bootstrap.php through dot env function we can access the configuration we defined in the env file okay so the env function takes two parameter one is uh, one is the uh, the variable name we define the second is default value exit and echo okay now reload the applications 
it displays the default value by default cake pitch will not load the dot uh, .ini file so we will not able to access whatever the configuration we defined in the dot .ini file in order to access the dot, uh, configuration we defined in the dot .ini file we must load uh, the dot .ini file to our cake pitch publication so for that we need to uncommon this following lines this will load the dot .ini file and pause and keep it uh, and give it to us to the uh, uh, throw the cake pitch publication now if you reload if you see whatever the uh, variable we defined in the whatever the value we given the db host it displays okay now go and open your dot app uh, page uh, file and provide the whatever the configuration we defined in the dot uh, file now reload the yeah we satisfy all the criteria now now cake pitch publication can able to access connect to the database okay to uh, uh, integrate the jquery auto complete with the uh, cake pitch publication so the jquery auto complete requires jquery so uh, download the jquery and also uh, it requires jquery ui so i i select the custom download so by default uh, jquery ui uh, uh, includes lot of functionality but we need only jquery uh, jquery auto complete functionality so if, if you download everything if the file size goes bigger so it will affect the performance so what i will do i will toggle everything i will search auto complete so i select only auto complete and download so i have downloaded now extract I will copy the images jquery.min.js and theme.min.js and copy this and put it in the um, web root CSS file paste here the same way I will copy js jquery.min.css and put it in js folder now download jquery and save it in uh, js folder uh, root js folder also i need the bootstrap for styling purpose so and go and download the bootstrap okay that's it next uh, tutorial i will cover how to create an, a controller uh, and layout and model everything so we'll integrate the simple jQuery auto autocomplete in next tutorial meet you guys in next tutorial please subscribe our channel and uh, also press the bell icon to get the updates immediately